Senator Hood is representing Gretchen Whitmer, who could not join us today. Senator Hood serves the people of Northwest Detroit, the city of Melville, and the city of Dearborn. He is currently the Senate Democratic floor leader and served in the House of Representatives for three terms. Before elected to office, Senator Hood worked on the assembly line at the Dearborn engine plant for seven years and served as an alternate committeeman, helping to make, his, make sure that his fellow workers' rights were protected. It was this experience, along with the inspiration of his grandfather, Morris Hood Sr., his father, Morris Hood Jr., and his uncle, Raymond Hood, that inspired him to run for the 11th District State House seat. Senator Hood is very passionate about improving community health and raising the bar for education for all students from pre-kindergarten on through college education. As chairman of the Joint Capital Outlay Committee, Senator Hood negotiated bipartisan support for over $200 million in state budget projects, including $7.5 million for Henry Ford Community College. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Senator Morris W. Hood III. Good morning, everyone. It's great to be here, and I want to thank you all for um, allowing me to uh, speak uh, before you this morning. Uh, I bring you greetings uh, on behalf of Gretchen Whitmer, um, your candidate uh, for governor. Um, she apologizes that she could not be here this morning, but uh, she is uh, running across the state, um, and she's been real, real busy. Um, trying to get out and making sure that she gets um, to the voters uh, and making sure that she gets um, and hears um, what everyone is saying, you know, out on the streets um, and getting a grassroots um, understanding um, and, and so that she could uh, carry that on uh, and then begin her platform and continue her platform um, on uh, her quest to be your governor. Um, I've got a few notes here that I want to uh, um, give to you regarding Gretchen. Uh, once again, uh, I'm State Senator Morris Hood, and I, I had the opportunity um, to serve with Gretchen Whitmer in the State Senate, where she was the uh, uh, minority leader um, of the Senate, and she accomplished uh, quite a few things. Uh, Gretchen is a, a leader. Um, that uh, took us uh, and was able to negotiate many things, um, negotiate uh, health care, um, and be able to cross uh, party lines. And that's the type of individual that she is, an individual that uh, no matter what the obstacles are, no matter who the person is, no matter um, what, um, what their ideology is, um, and whether they agree or disagree, um, she's willing to get down and get the work done um, that needs to be done to make things uh, better and to make things happen. So. Uh, with that being said, uh, Gretchen, uh, she, um, she's a former, uh, as I said, state Democratic leader. Uh, she is committed to making Michigan a, Michigan a place um, for our children uh, who want to stay here in Michigan. Uh, we should never uh, want to have or have our children uh, moving out. We should never have to get on a, a plane. Um, to go somewhere and visit our children. We want our children to stay right here in Michigan, and we want to provide those opportunities um, for them to be here. Um, she's building one of the biggest and fastest growing grassroots uh, movements uh, the state has ever seen. Again, she's going across the state, making sure that uh, uh, we get the thing, and, and that's why we're here today. Uh, we're here today to talk to you um, to listen to you, to get your ideas, to get your input. And um, she knows how to get things done. Um, she will work with everyone, as I indicated, who wants to, to get things done um, for the people of Michigan. As senator, um, she negotiated with the uh, Republicans to expand Medicaid, as I indicated, to over uh, 680,000 Michiganders. Uh, she negotiated minimum wage increases, and because of her work uh, that she did, the minimum wage went up to um, for the fourth for the fourth time this year, um, it has gone up. Um, she negotiate, She um, also uh, planned to get everyone on a path to a higher wage um, and to raise household incomes across the state. Every 
Michigander deserves access to quality, affordable health care. That's why Gretchen Whitmer negotiated with Republicans um, to expand that health care, and as governor, she'll take on she'll take that on again. Uh, she'll take on uh, you know different things. She'll take on uh, anyone who threatens our health coverage. Um, so we understand the type of person that she is. Um, and I'm trying to explain to you that she is willing to take on the hard issues. Um, she, is, she is willing to work with anyone and everyone um, to, get it, to get it done. And when we talk about the things that you do, and we're talking about connectivity um, to uh, uh, health care and to um, your you know, information and making it uh, connected, where is that when you go to the doctor? Um, you can have all of your information right there. Uh, we talk about in rural areas where uh, connectivity is not as great, making sure that everyone, uh, we start talking about broadband and talk about uh, internet access so that they can have these things. So when you go to the doctor, uh, you can go home and you can see those files or when you have a blood test, you can look that up and you can connect to a doctor, especially we talked about in rural areas again, uh, where Doctors are 25, 50, 75 miles away, and you go to another doctor, and you don't have that information, and that doctor can look that information up. So we know and understand those types of things, uh, and I'm just so glad to uh, be a part of that, uh, to be a part, not of that, but a part of her campaign in which she is open to taking Michigan to the next step. We want to make sure that we take Michigan to the next step or to the next level where all of these things come together. The connectivity, the, co the, connectivity com the connectivity comes together and all of those things as far as health care. When we talk about those things, we have to make sure that we have affordable health care, number one. Uh, and available health care, affordable health care, and affordable and, and health care that folks can get to. So that is a very important issue um, on the campaign: is affordable health care, making sure that people have access uh, to health care, and then again, along with what you do, making it easier uh, for people to get to that health care and making it easier for them to go to the doctor, so that we can have people have a better quality of life. So um, with that being said, uh, again, uh, we are traveling across the state, uh, and I'm traveling right up the street here to the Capitol when I leave here, uh, but we're traveling across the state to make sure that everyone gets a chance to know her. And again, she apologizes that she can't be here today, but please uh, get online, uh, do some research, do a little research, and find out more about it. Just don't take my word for it, but the proof is in the pudding, and we'll stand behind Gretchen, and I'll stand behind Gretchen all day, every day, on the things that she has accomplished and the things that she looks to accomplish. Look at her plans um, that she has for, uh, uh, for health care, uh, for fixing the roads, um, things of that such, and take a look at her and take a real look, and, and I, I think that you will be impressed and you will be able, uh, this will be a candidate that you can stand behind. So please do that. Um, and uh, if time uh, permits, uh, we like to take it up, you know, I can take questions. Um, if anybody has any questions, we can kind of do a little interaction here. Um, I don't know how we want to do it. Um, if, if there are some questions, I got lights in front of me so I can't see everyone. So anyone have? Questions, just shout it out. I'll okay. I did a great job. <laughs> Do we have one? Okay, all right. Just, you know, I think we've been doing a lot of work in the community amongst provider organizations and payer organizations, and we're starting to make progress with consumers. Uh, and the next big step is to better engage community-based organizations who provide social services. Mm -hmm. Just curious how you see, you know, are there barriers to that? Is there some place where the legislator can help encourage that so that we can get, you know, churches involved, get, get Easter Seals involved, get other entities involved that would help providers be more effective and reduce costs and improve outcomes? Most definitely. Um, as you know, educating um, is, you know, in every aspect 
of life, education, and, and knowing where to go, uh, knowing who to call, um, knowing your resources. Um, that's what, you know, I, I kind of do that every day. Um, we get phone calls in our office every day on, you know, trying to, uh, someone who has an issue um, like that. And so when we talk about getting into the churches, getting into the community groups, um, yes, that is a major part of also um, um, Gretchen Whitmer's campaign is to, and it will be a great big piece of that, getting the, getting the, uh, the knowledge out, getting the word out of how we can do that. And yes, we can make that connectivity um, to the, again, the community organizations so that people can know um, how to navigate through um, the whole system. All right, thank you, and once again, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm pleased that you all let us come in and, and have this time. Um, we do have literature here. Um, Scotty, that literature is in the back. There'll be some literature next door, so please take that literature. And like I say, we can come and speak to you all day long and you'll have candidates and you know, uh, but we talk about this is, um, every year we talk about or every couple of years or every four years in the governor's race, we talk about, oh, this is the most important uh, race or election of our lifetime. But we've been saying that for the past, I don't know, 20 years now, every election. But, it's, but it is actually true. Take it from me who sits in the legislature every, every four years or every two years as the House is concerned and in other local races, these races, these elections, and who you put in place is becoming more and more important because of all the things that are changing, not only in this country, but in the world. And we see all the things that are going on in this country. We see all the things that are going on in this world. And some you may agree with, some you may disagree with. However, it is very important for your voice to be heard through your vote. So we encourage you to get out and vote. And again, I encourage you to get online, take a look at Gretchen Whitmer, and I'll guarantee you that you will be pleased in the person that you're looking at. And then if, if we can come back and we can talk to you and we can do this again um, at any point in time, please don't have, don't have any uh, hesitation in calling us and we would love to come in. But just take a look because this is a very important time that we're dealing with right now in the state of Michigan to get it back to the state that we want it to be. Thank you very much and you guys have a great day.